Leviticus chapter 20. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Again you shall say to the children of Israel, Whoever among the children of Israel, or among the strangers who live with you in the land, who gives any of his children to Molech, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. I will set my face against that man, and will cut him off from his people. For by giving his children to Molech, he has defiled my sanctuary, and profaned my holy name. And if the people of the land should in any way hide their eyes from that man, when he gives some of his children to Molech, and they do not kill him, then I will set my face against that man, and against his family, and will cut off their people, both him and all who follow him in prostituting themselves to Molech. And the person who turns to mediums and familiar spirits to prostitute himself with them, I will set my face against that person and cut him off from his people. Consecrate and sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be holy, for I am Yahweh your Father. You must, therefore, keep my statutes and perform and do them. I am Yahweh who consecrates and sanctifies you. If anyone curses his father or mother, he shall surely be put to death. He has cursed his father or his mother, his blood shall be upon his own head. The man who commits adultery with another man's wife, or with the wife of his brother, the adulterer and adulteress, shall surely be put to death. The man who has sexual relations with his father's wife has uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon their own heads. If a man has sexual relations with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have committed perversion. Their blood shall be upon their own heads. If a man has sexual relations with a male, as he has sexual relations with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon their own heads. If a man marries a woman, and also her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be burned with fire, both he and they in order that there may be no wickedness among you. If a man has sexual relations with an animal, he shall surely be put to death, and you shall kill the animal. If a woman approaches an animal and has sexual relations with it, you shall kill the woman and the animal. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon them. If a man marries his sister, the daughter of either his father or his mother, and they have sexual relations, it is a wicked thing. They must be cut off in the sight of their people. He has uncovered his sister's nakedness, and he will bear the guilt of his sin. If a man lies with a woman during her monthly period, Nida, or during her other uncleanness, Zava, and has sexual relations with her, he has exposed the source of her flow, and she has also uncovered it. Both of them must be cut off from their people. Do not have sexual relations with the sister of your mother, or the sister of your father, your aunt, for that would uncover his near of kin. They shall bear their guilt. If a man has sexual relations with his uncle's wife, his aunt, he has uncovered his uncle's nakedness. They will bear their sin. They shall die childless. If a man marries his brother's wife, it is an unclean, impure thing. He has uncovered his brother's nakedness. They shall be childless. You must therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments, and perform and do them, so that the land where I am bringing you to live may not vomit you out. And you must not walk according to the customs of the nations that I am going to drive out before you. Because they committed all these things, I abhorred and loathed them. But I have said to you, you shall inherit their land, 
and I will give it to you to possess a land flowing with milk and honey. I am Yahweh your father who has separated and set you apart from the nations. You must therefore distinguish between clean and unclean animals, between clean and unclean birds. You shall not make yourselves abominable by animal or by bird or by any kind of living thing that moves along on the ground, those which I have set apart as unclean for you. You are to be my holy ones, for I, Yahweh, am holy, and have separated and set you apart from the nations. I have called you out that you should be mine. A man or woman who is a medium, or who has familiar spirits, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon their own heads. 